Get ready for explosive court action that pits your best shots against the world's hottest competition. Get ready for Davis Cup Tennis. Are you ready? No, seriously, are you? Because you look a little too relaxed out there for this one. The instruction manual in this game is your friend, and you'll see why in a moment. On the first page, it says, quote, Take on 32 top-seeded international pros or create your own players and opponents, unquote. That is a good basic description of Davis Cup Tennis, a pretty fun little video tennis game that is packed with options and goodies. Let's insert the turbo chip and see what we got. What I'd like to point out here is the number of options right off the... Wait, what is that strange audio? <laughs> that's that's interesting. They took the speech from the game and mixed it in with the opening music. This, okay, that's, that's odd. Tiebreak. Anyway, as I said, there are a lot of selections available. First, you choose the number of players. If you have a trusty TurboTap handy and some extra controllers, you can go up to four on this one. You also have practice, demo, and options. Wait, options? More options? Yep, here you can select the number of matches, game speed, music, and single or split screen view. As for the latter option, the single screen view doesn't really show that much more of the cord, it just doesn't stack the angles. If you choose one player, the game becomes, well, one player. Yep, the loneliest racket in the world. Next up is the player editor screen, where you can name your player, choose a nation, and even adjust your various skills using a number of credits to do so. It reminds me of Victory Run, where you can increase or decrease your car's abilities, removing and adding strengths to balance it out. If you have the ability, you can save the player you created for later, or you can load an existing one from before. That's a nice feature if you enjoy playing Tennis God. After you choose or create a player, you can select a singles exhibition, doubles exhibition, training, which allows you to practice against the automatic ball machine. And this actually does help to get you used to the rhythm and angles of this game. Tournament for a worldwide tournament, Davis Cup, which is a grind of singles and doubles matches against the world's top players, or championship, which allows your character to improve as the game goes on. Oh, you can also select your opponent or create your own opponent. <laughs> Man, if only we could do that in real life, huh? These opponents can also be saved for later. Then it's time to select your type of surface and finally begin the match. I've just spent almost half a review talking about options and I'm already exhausted. Luckily for the impatient types, the manual lays out a quick start list for those who just want to get to the court. If you enjoy tweaking, adjusting, customizing, Davis Cup Options uh, Tennis is packed in that department. Now do you see why the manual is your friend? When you begin a match, you'll notice that Davis Cup Tennis looks pretty good. It pushes aside World Court Tennis's cutesy approach and goes for a more realistic look. I mean, it even stars pros from that time, so obviously real. In fact, there is a smooth set of animation happening here. Overall, it's a nice looking tennis game. Now the question is, how does it play? Well, I'm pleased to report that while not perfect, Davis Cup Tennis is pretty good in the gameplay, feel, and control arena. Much like pinball video game simulations, it's important that a ball-based sports game have good ball physics. This one does it well, as the ball bounces and flies across the court pretty realistically. Now, how do you interact with the game? Well, it boils down to holding the directional key a certain way along with button one. This will dictate which way the ball is hit, and it's the same for serving, mid-court, baseline shots, etc. Hold button 1 to swing the racket back and release when the ball is in range. You also can move your character around the court as you anticipate the next move. It seems a bit complicated, and it kind of is. The timing of this particular control is a bit awkward. 
Your character freezes as you hold the button down and then unfreezes upon release. I guess kind of like real life tennis as you get your footing? It's a little bit weird and I'm not a huge fan. World Court Tennis had that simple pick up and play feel where Davis Cup Tennis requires a little work. The ball can be hard to follow at times and you really need to concentrate and center your racket and wow, even just hitting the ball was a chore at first. But obviously I did get better over time. Don't, oh, uh, balls. I can say that the game sounds pretty darn good. While there is no in-game music, the various grunts, groans, etc. are quite clear. The other voices are also very clear. Maybe some grunts are a bit too much for my taste, but they're nicely spread out. And when you mix in some squeaky sneakers, <laughs> it does a pretty good job overall. The game can be intense as you start to get the feel of an opponent and attack them personally. There are times the AI seems a bit wonky and over the top, but then again, you do have the ability to tweak not only your own player, but the AI as well. Look, I mess with this guy's stats so much, he can't even serve it over the net. <laughs> even mixing up the type of court, which obviously can dictate how the ball behaves, is in your grasp. So who is to blame if you get your you-know-what handed to you? What else is there to say, really? Davis Cup Tennis is an option-packed, pretty solid game of tennis. Some would say that too many options is a detriment at times, but I feel due to its variety, it allows players of all skill levels to find something of value here. While the controls aren't perfect, they're pretty smooth, the game looks good, and it sounds good. Not only can you play against real-life tennis players, but you can also participate in realistic tournaments, which is fun. In fact, grabbing just even one friend and playing two-on-two -two or one-on-one -on -one is pretty solid. Anyway, you can just call me Ace, because you just got served. <sighs> Sorry, you know me. I, I couldn't help it. If you're not a fan of tennis at all, or tennis video games at all, will Davis Cup Tennis change your mind? No, I doubt it. But if you're a fan of both, this game is pretty solid, and the options available help increase the replay value. The game goes for a realistic approach. Realistic or complicated? Well, <laughs> that's your call.